wanted to introduce you to some of our history here at Frank Family, and we're going to visit three older wines. Uh, from the 1994 vintage, the 95, and the 1996 vintage. These are all Cabernet Sauvignons from the Winston Hill Vineyard. Shows the history before the Winston Hill label came about. Um, Frank family started as a partnership with Kerner Rombauer and Rich Frank. So the label shows that partnership, Frank Rombauer. And it also has the history of the old Larkmead Cellars here, which is our historic stone building, which was on the front label. It's a picture of it there with the elm trees. Um, a lot going on. Over time, we've simplified it. And as Rich and Kerner separated their businesses, um, we became Frank Family Vineyards. And so we cleaned that up a little bit and we focus on the vineyards and the family a little more than, um, than the stone building. So I'm going to walk you through these wines and I'm going to do something fun and use three different tools to open them because sometimes as wines age, the cork, the integrity of the cork is a little um, compromised and, and as we've all done it, we've pulled the corkscrew out, can't get the cork out. So I'm going to give you some tips on doing that and uh, we'll go from there. The 1994 vintage was a little drier than the, the two next vintages we're going to talk about. Um, not a lot of rainfall, but a very mild growing season too. Maybe a heat spike in August, um, and that was about it. So it was a very mild year, low, low rainfall. So I'm going to use a, a waiter's corkscrew for this first one. And as I have explained, over time, sometimes the corks can be compromised and um, putting the corkscrew down the middle you can pull out and unfortunately the cork will break or something so we're gonna try it we'll see and then uh, see how we rescue it after that but so if you're opening older wines and you're pushing in I think just go a little slower than normal uh, these uh, waiter corkscrews are great because they're hinged if you have that so you can get it started and the key is to, so this one's gonna, well, I don't say too early. Um, and just go slow. You can see it's starting to break right now. So catch it, try to catch it and go down and see if you can get another bite and use the hinge again. Another bite. So it takes a little bit. You can see the cork falling apart. This is a great example why we're going to open the other ones a different way. And you see the crumbling here. And this is what you don't want. This is a good example and why it's difficult no matter how slow I'm going, trying to be careful. The cork is disintegrating. And that's not unusual. So this is where the asso may come in handy. So we're gonna try the 94. As I said earlier, very mild year, maybe a couple heat spikes in August, but not very much, a mild September. Um, and not a lot of rainfall in the winter. So it was a drier year comparatively to the, the vintages around this. Um, again, we're gonna see something different in these wines than we do in a current release. The bright fruit will have toned down to more dried fruits. Uh, there'll be more uh, aromatics in there like, like leather. Um, cedar wood, but you'll still get these, and these nice spices you get in there. They're very clean. And again, the tannins have mellow that soften, but it's still very fresh. Um, colors changed a little bit too, so that's one thing you should notice when you're drinking older wines. They'll go from the bright purples more of a brickish red color also. Totally diff totally natural, and actually it's a great example. You can see some of the sediment left behind during the aging process. Um, again, totally natural. Um, again, very soft, um, but still a lot of energy left in it. So 1994, and I'm still very impressed with how much time's probably left in it. It'd be great when we get into tasting all three of these side by side. Thank you. 
What we've included to try to help extract the cork a little bit with aged wine is an Asso. Um, first came to mind in the, in the 80s, for me anyway, when I was at university. These were pretty common. Um, so we're gonna take one, it's included in the kit. Uh, comes out, you use one of the side blades instead of the knife and you can still cut the foil um, off. So it should be no problem with the Asso. So you don't need two, two pieces of equipment. Now this is different. So instead of going through the heart of the cork, you go down the sides of the bottle. One side's a little longer than the other, so you start the, the, the longer side, pinch it, and you just rock it back and forth. And it's kind of designed to rock back and forth. And you gotta keep a watch on it. This cork's looking great, but it is starting to go down. And now you take it and you turn and come up. And what this does is keep all the cork intact. And there you go. Now let's taste this wine, 1995. This was a wetter vintage. It was the first of the two really wet vintages we had. Um, got a lot of January, February rain. So the vines were dormant, didn't affect any of that. Um, and December prior was pretty, pretty wet too. So our rain season was great. We probably got, we usually get maybe 36 inches of rain here. We're, we're talking, we're into the 50s and the 60s. So almost double the rain um, fall than normal. Um, so reservoirs were full, soil capacity was full, uh, big growing season. And again, another, another mild growing season, not a lot of spikes, very calm. And I think we all like that as winemakers when it's, it's calm during the vintage. So now I'm just gonna check it out. Again, I think the vintages come together a little bit, the, the differences come to get together a little bit better when they've been aged for over 20 years. So again, you're getting these dried fruits, dried cherries, um, maybe a little uh, dried plum, um, but it comes in again with the leather, the, the cedar, some oak components that kind of transform over time also. And then the palate, I think we're gonna be surprised here too, the freshness of these wines. And the body, I think the, the 95 stands out a little bit in the roundness of the, of the wine too. So um, very balanced, round still. Um, the brickish color is, is warranted it earned its stripes per se. Um, and then the length, these are, these are gorgeous wines. Okay, we're gonna open the 1996 Cabernet also. One of the fun toys that I have is called the Durand and it's a combination corkscrew asso. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll give it a shot. So again, I just use the asso part of this as the knife that you would in um, a waiter's corkscrew. So now I'm gonna go with the corkscrew first. I mean, it looks just like a cork pull. Go down the middle. I'll leave it out just a little and see how that works. And now I'm gonna get the asso. Again, as I explained earlier, one side's a little longer than the other. And it goes right in the side there rock it back and forth and it slides down and it's going to meet the corkscrew and now it's all connected and you just twist slowly voila Okay, now we're gonna try the 1996 Rutherford Cabernet, again, off of Winston Hill. Um, nine, 24 years old. Um, really fun to try these wines. Again, I think the vintage variation uh, balances out a little bit over these 20 years, plus years. Um, so you're gonna still see uh, a little lighter color, but you can see the depth through it is still dark. It's just the edges around it. And that's, again, totally, totally normal. At the bottom of this bottle, you're gonna see the sediment. The person who gets the last glass is gonna get some normal sediment over time. Um, 
And again, now the aromas, more savory than fresh, more dried than fresh. Um, but again, complexity, um, leather, um, some wood notes, a lot going on, spice notes. And the amazing part of this is how well these wines have held out in the palate, the freshness, the structure, the balance, all holding, again, maybe going from black fruits to some more red fruits, um, but again, dried cherry, I get that, little cranberry. But a long finish and um, these wines, I would suggest you drink them now, but I think if you could hold them for another five years and you'd be fine. So enjoy.